Hello boys and girls, welcome to a brief summary of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I'm streaming Dwarf Fortress, but I nevertheless want you to give some overview of what has been streamed and done. This is an embark which we have planned with DJ Rod W. We will play both the same embark on the same map in parallel and compare each other's um, glorious failings of fails and, and mistakes how our forts rise and ultimately go down to enemy forces for uh, for the embark we have chosen a volcano area and a haunted area all these um, purple and grey areas are haunted areas here I will just go through uh, the map so as you see it is a volcano embark there is a plateau over here and below it in the northwest corner is uh, the land relatively flat uh, here is where the extreme cliffs begin uh, the game is still in alpha version so I'm sure these rectangular or square shapes will get smoothed out and we'll get some irregularities in later versions but as you see the mountains start as squares and when we go level uh, by level up and up you see how they get smoothed the volcano pipe is still very high and the highest it, it, it basically looks like a chimney there from the mountain so this is the very top uh, above that nothing is it's only air and we go down now so we have this volcano pipe it's about 30 to 40 levels of magma here so I don't we don't even need to pressurize it to to have something like a magma cannon here to shoot at the enemies these haunted hills are full of uh, gems and quite usable ores uh, no iron ore though uh, but some tetrahedrite and down there I haven't explored it yet much I haven't dug through the first cavern layer now this is where we originally started let me zoom in we have started on this haunted hill that is still well here are the remains of our wagon and our dogs these things I've never seen before but these are staring eyeballs and um, wormy tendrils this land is the other land is quite heavily forested so we have lots of palm trees and willows here palm trees and willows yes so we have started here with these floor hatches I'm currently preparing some defense walls and again my um, classical trap corridor wo woven so that the enemies have to walk through it if they want to reach the hatch covers to our preliminary fort later I of course plan to dig fort into this mountain but not now I'm still planning it how it will look like I don't even know from which side the enemies arrive and so on so I have st started something um, of a temporary housings down here here we have our farming fields our stockpiles jewelers workshop actually by now he should have some some jewels in the palm bin no that's nothing but here gem bin we have two rose quartzes mm -hmm. Uh, this is our little dormitory and some food barrels and this is wine barrels 
we've prepared cages for our cage traps, animal traps for animals. Our dwarves live in such little rooms with doors. These are some nobles because they have offices. For example, here we can see this bags belongs to Steine, the manager, and this is a manager's office. Or this room belongs to the expedition leader. This is expedition's leader's office, although expedition leader actually doesn't need any office. I still think he should have that. And since our expedition leader is also a good warrior and a good um, um, hunter, I have built him kennels where, where he can um, hunt from and, and tame the animals there. Yeah. Further down we have another office for our bookkeeper, so bookkeeper's office here, and this is stone crafter, here's his workshop right here currently makes rock crafts because it's it is um, early autumn autumn has just began where I've paused the game and stopped the live stream so we need to make some rock crafts to have something for sale uh, here we have um, the kitchen and loom I think our weaver Weaver will have his room probably somewhere here. Um, this is another room being dug out. Um, woodcutter and the woodburner's workshop. The woodcutter's workshop is, or carpenter's workshop is one level further up. And what we have here is another stockpile of wood and barrels. Here is a room f planned for preliminary uh, dining room. And there is not much further down except for a mason and his room. Um, this is still Puma's room, so I think Puma shouldn't use this bed. We should assign it to our other mason, Kantorek, which has come with the new migrant wave. We have two migrant waves, and um, Kantorek is just, he was close to legendary mason. So um, Puma is no longer our mason, he is our brewer and cook and also he wants to go in the military, he wants to be a mace dwarf, so I'm trying to forge him a mace quite soon. Now as you see the configuration of these dwarves has have been somewhat unusual for me. I have taken a miner and combined with a doctor, a carpenter, mason, woodcutter, combined with plant gatherer, DJ Rod is our mason and record keeper. So probably he shouldn't be. Yeah, I, I will make him exclusive record keeper later on. Uh, this, the expedition leader has become a space vagrant with his hunting skills and and military skills. He is novice, axe dwarf, dodger, fighter, ambusher, and marks dwarf. So, um, yeah, that that was about my configuration. I had one farmer, and farmer was combined with with another miner. So, it was a rather unusual uh, configuration of skills for me. And this miner and farmer was also the stone crafter. Now in the second wave, as, as you see, we have become a good, ma good mason, another miner, and a good milker. We have a plant gatherer, but there is not much plants to be gathered right now. I, I don't want him to gather plants because 
um, we, we don't have bags if you gather plants you need bags we don't have that we will wait until our cloth makers will make some bags I have already assigned a weaver or we, we became one one novice weaver came with the migrant wave so we will use it and this is one dwarven child which will hopefully grow to become some something useful in our fortress not only a peasant fish cleaning fish fishery fishery is still not not working but we have two gem cutters probably one is enough um Stine, maybe Stine doesn't need to cut gems so okay this this is how the situation is now um we need to dig more rooms for the for the newcomers that's what we will do we'll make defenses and th these are the plans for our uh, for our next session and next stream later today so we need to build a traders depot we need to make more rock crafts we need to sort out our stockpiles rooms for newcomers forge puma and maze we need bags plant pigtails we need cabinets in in the dwarves room we need a decent dining room build fortification as i have said here we need some some defenses if we don't have military then we must rely on fortifications and traps oh we should think about barracks hospital and well as well next time so i hope you will join the stream it will uh, be quite um interesting to see how this haunted area will play because i have no experience whatsoever with the haunted area yet i also don't know when the first goblins will attack maybe this winter already it is possible that they will come when you look at these mountains we have lots of nice things i love microcline and cobaltite they give you blue stone we have even some garnierite which is the only ore or stone which is green so these are garnierite clusters i think and garnierite yeah so lots of fort design possibilities color wise are given here and we ha even i even saw somewhere a rock crystal so if we manage to get sand somehow we may even get to make crystal glass which would be awesome i have never done that i saw a rock crystal somewhere i think this is rock crystal no it's stibnite um but i'm sure there was rock crystal somewhere here here this must be rock crystal no pipe opal what about this anyway it is there i i have checked it through we have rock crystal here um, we will have the possibility to make uh, crystal glass if we manage to find sand anywhere but as far as we can see this is all clay hmm so we will probably have to import sand but that's not bad we are expecting a caravan anytime rock crystal cluster you see this is rock crystal so it's here right under our feet um, thanks a lot for watching and um, if you want uh, to see all the action follow the stream